<coughs> okay, uh, yet another update for day 31. Okay, um, right, so I've noticed this something going on now in my body. Um, when I can, I can just tell when it's a good, when I've, I should, not just tell, it's almost like I have to go out at certain times. My body's got its own, like, it, 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 it's connecting with the astral plane, and it just knows when is, is the right time for me to go out. And, and, um, and it, 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 the more I listen to my body, the, the better things go. And even when I do go for a walk, it, it's like I'm collecting energy while I'm out. And, um, with all this astral energy I was talking about in the, the first pit part, it's now starting to, um, you know, I can start feeling it building up in my body. These these whole big energies of well-being and power and stuff. Um, and I'm noticing it especially when I go out. And I'm going out when my body tells me to go out. It's like when I'm, you know, the astral connection with my body. It feels like it's the right time to go out, and that's the time to go out and do stuff and patrol your territory or whatever. Um, Yes, I just wanted to make this one this quick little update about um, paying attention to what your body's telling you and your guts, your instincts. Uh, this is all connecting with the astral plane. And um, so a lot of the time, the reason you haven't got well-being now is because you've been you've, you've kind of been trained to ignore your instincts. You know, schooling is really terrible for that. You know, because it's sort of it's it's put this sort of really restrictive. Um, Programming is brainwashing and it's really restrictive as, as far as listening to your instincts and intuition is concerned. So that gets basically gets trained out of us. They put a real lot of effort in. That's really what it's all about. Training you to stop using your instincts and your your intuition and your intellect. It's about just, just turning you into a fucking zombie. <laughs> so part of this process is going to be like reconnecting with how we should be if we hadn't been programmed. So it's going to start using all these energies and feel them all start to uh, become active. And we've got a lot of this work is going to be grounding those energies in our body, in our system, and and keeping them protected from agents and stuff. You know, whilst we are also going into the this astral territory, this is we're we're, we're claiming that energy. We're, we're we're making a connection now between the earth plane and the astral plane, but as part of our territory. You know, this this process of, of walking around your your you know your territory is now extending through into the astral plane. Um, you know, and there's going to be a lot of energy to deal with, and so it, it, it's it's a again a, a case of being mindful of this energy and um, you know collecting it all up. Um, there's a, there's this also this thing about you've got you know it's, it's a lot a great deal of well-being you've got to try to deal with it without letting it get to you without letting getting complacent about it or you know um, think of it like gold you're not just going to leave it lying around you've got to, once you've got it you've got to protect it and look after it like you know because people if, if if the agents or anyone can find a way of getting it off you they will you know a fool is fortune you are easily parted so you've got to not be foolish um, and connecting with that again is like the, the idea of a god now to me a god is, a, is a, the one true god is a kind of a fact I mean I can't prove it but I just feel it it must be so there must be a, a, a highest one true god um, it's kind of a function I see it like a function of the infinite just but like I believe that the infinity must exist cannot not exist this universe is insignificant in compared to the infinite and th this infinity must have a soul or co you know or supreme consciousness and that's what the one true god is as far as i'm concerned it's an inevitable mathematical certainty so um it's as it says in the bible the fool in his heart says there is no god you know because only a fool would think like that you know to, to, to think oh there isn't a god just because you haven't seen one, or it's not provable, that's just stupid. So I really believe part of this success in this endeavour um, involves, you know, acknowledging God and um, doing what is right and working for God. You're working for God, you know. It's, it's <laughs>
in a way, it's always the case. If you want to get any get on in life, you, you're working for, for the for the most high God. Anything else? Basically, you know, you're working for the devil then. So it makes sense to work for the most high God, you know, because if you're working for the devil, alternatively, the devil is actually working for the, for the most high God anyway. So it don't really matter. Um, in terms of from the devil, well, it does matter. It does matter. It really matters a lot. It matters that you are working for the right God and not some imposter. You know, even if that imposter's, imposter's been put there by the true God, that's irrelevant. It's just still, it's still not the true God. So you've got to get on board with that. And also, if you believe there isn't a God, I, I think that is a mistake. And I don't think you can you can do this work if you think that. Because wh wh what are you working for? What's the whole purpose of it? You know, if you're just doing it just to get power for your own self. That's not the right way of doing it, and it, and it will go wrong for you, you know, as far as I'm, I'm concerned. You, you, you can't do that. That's what these gods we're going to be dealing with uh, are about. They're allowed to get away with what they're allowed to get away with because they keep all this stuff in check, you know. You can only get all this stuff if you're going to work for the Most High. So that's how you can go into their realms and, and take over, you know, because you're working for the Most High. If, you, if you're not, then you haven't really got a leg to stand on. <laughs> Essentially, so that's why the fool in his heart thinks that there's no God, and it's a fool, you know. Um, I mean, there's, I'm sure there's loopholes in that philosophy and stuff, and it's probably not a hundred percent accurate, but it's a good, good way of dealing with this energy, as far as I'm concerned, and it's, it's, it's a very safe way of dealing with it. And any other way is going to have lots of risks. Um, okay. Interesting other side point um, about in like. Falun Gong, if you read the Falun Gong book, he talks about um, like his method in there, uh, the Falun Gong method, and then he talks about um, this uh, side door, I forgot the proper the name he uses, but he, it's like a unconventional side door technique. That, that, that he's, he's talked to various masters, and they've developed various types of technique where they kind of, it's not a direct approach, it's more of a sneaky going round sort of like round approach, you know, and sneaky side door sort of thing. But they still achieve enlightenment and, and get power and stuff because of it. And there's all these different techniques, you know, that there's all different chakra systems that people have used, you know, and uh, so this is what I'm doing is just, just creating another system. It's just, there's loads of other systems that have been used throughout the centuries and that. And I'm just creating another one because it just seems like the straightforward thing to do.